Yo, what's up guys? So today, awesome instructional video. I'm gonna show you the best way to chalk a dumpster in the easiest way. Now they actually, the pad I'm gonna make you, they actually make these pads in rubber. And I forget the name, I think they call them dumpster chocks or something like that. But I'm gonna show you how to make one. This is the best way to chalk a dumpster. It's the easiest way to chalk a dumpster. And I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. You need a piece of wood. Now you can use any scrap wood. I'm gonna cut it here and I'm gonna manufacture this whole thing just like you had a shop or what have you, but any piece of scrap wood will do. You can get anything off the job, even a two by four or a two by six. I'm just gonna use this. It's a piece of scrap plywood. Um, this is actually three quarter inch plywood. So that's really good because the reason is you're gonna be putting this under the dumpster wheels. And if you don't use a thick enough piece of plywood, like a half inch, the dumpster will actually push and deform the wood. So the thicker the wood, like a two by six, would be way better because it won't deform the wood. This will withstand a lot more weight. I'm gonna show you the, um, the best way now. So I'm gonna plug in the table saw. So here's what we have. These are for the rear wheels. So this will be the first thing that you're going to, that the dumpster will hit. And I'll explain how this works. These two pieces of wood represent anything. This could be scrap pieces of wood that you have laying. The wider it is, the better it's gonna be, and the thicker it is it's gonna be, and the longer it's gonna be better. This way, when that, all that dumpster weight on the center of this wood, if it's spread out over a greater distance, you'll reduce the footprint of the, of, the, of the actual dumpster. And this is what you're gonna be left with. You're gonna be left with two scrap pieces of wood and two smaller scrap pieces of wood. And that's what you're gonna be left with. I'm gonna show you the second step to this. This is really easy. This can represent any scrap pieces of wood. You could have two by fours, two by sixes. It doesn't have to be pretty like this. This is merely for representing what you're trying to accomplish. I just happen to have this piece of wood that we're throwing away, so I figured I'd use it for the video. Sheet, sheet rockers, this is not my DeWall. My tools are not that bad looking. One thing I do wanna recommend is keeping it centered with it, not putting it on the edge. The reason is, if the, if the wheel is center, it will disperse the... Now, one thing I do wanna, just, just an, in ease, is let's say you have a half inch piece of plywood and then you only have another half inch chalk. What you can do is you could turn it over and screw in. I've done that before. If your screws are too long, screw in through the back and they will be sticking up through the board, but this will be under the dumpster so it won't be unsafe. So no one will be able to hurt their foot. So now you have two pieces, two chalks. The reason this is such a good idea is that now you could just take this and put this in the cab of your truck and you don't have to have a big two by four that is you know, in the cab of your truck. These are really small and if somebody really wants to have some dumpster chocks, then there you go. This goes right into the cab of your truck. It's nice and easy. This could be as big or as small as you want it. I like that size right about there. That for me, that seems like a really good size. The thickness of the board is really important. And then we're gonna show and we're gonna de demonstrate you know, how to use it on, the, on a dumpster. And then I'm gonna explain why this piece of board or this chalk is so important to the driver that we have this. And I'll explain why when we're taking it off, taking a dumpster off. All right, guys, here we are. We got the chocks we just made. We're here on the job. I'm gonna show you how to use these and what this is, why this is so important. So here we go. I'm gonna start the process of unloading a dumpster. I'm gonna take this down. I'm gonna, for this, all right, so I just touched it. I'm gonna come right back up an inch. I just touched the ground just so I can not have to get out of the truck. This is for demonstration, so I didn't mind touching the, the black top. So what you'll do is you're gonna put that there. And that one's 
gonna go there. What we're gonna do is, the reason you have the chocks is because when the driver takes off the truck, those wheels will hit up against the, the chocks. And if you didn't have those, the driver may not be able to keep it on the board. This makes it a thousand times easier for the driver to keep the dumpster on a truck. So what we're doing is we're just taking this off. The driver can merely put it in neutral and he can just back right off, right off onto that wood. Easy breezy. This way when he's taking the dumpster off, he has those chocks to lean up against. And if he didn't have that, it would be impossible to keep that dumpster on the... Now, you're gonna say, well, what about the front of the dumpster? And we have a solution for that. So on the front of the dumpster, now if you have wheels, we have this wood with us. What we'll do on the front of the dumpster is we'll just put them lengthwise with the, with the rails. This way there's no special, that's any scrap of wood that you have is good. And that's it. Now you have your chalk dumpster. So that's it guys. That's the best way, the easiest way that we found to chalk a dumpster so it doesn't sink into your blacktop. That being said, there's a million other ways you could do it, but that's just the way we do it. We, we, and, if, and if you did have wheels in the front, instead of putting it under the, the rails, and if there was wheels, you could just take that and obviously you'd put it under the wheels because the wheels will be lower than this so the dumpster can roll. If you had wheels in the front, you would just take that two by four and put it under the wheels versus put it under the rails. This dumpster just doesn't happen to have um, wheels in the front, just in the back. And that's it guys. That's the way to chalk a dumpster. Thanks for watching.